Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrude, Lorance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2018 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details at thefisherman.com. 57 pounds. That's the unofficial weight at the time, midweek. Will demand here. He was still out on the boat when he radioed this one in to Tony Maja, let him know that he was coming in with this one. 55 pound scale was bottomed out. We'll have to find out what the accurate weight was, but 57 pounds is a good analysis, a good estimate. How? Where? Well, just like we said last week, Maja number four in white, inside the line, just off Island Beach State Park, in the middle of this week. I'm Jim Hutchinson with a New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine. I'm actually standing here on the beach in Bayhead. Surfers are having a good time. Offshore winds pushing back a, a, a slight swell. The water's dirty. That's a lot of what I talk, talk to folks about, especially the surfcasters, complaining about the fact there's a lot of dirty water. Has a lot to do with the weather. Has a lot to do with all the beach replenishment effort that's going on. Dirty water, not a lot of bait thus far, but let's hope maybe it has something to do with the weather. Uh, from this stretch, uh, from here all the way down to Island Beach State Park. Though Nick Konicheski, um confirmed a shot of this sand eel. He checked in with the folks at Grumpy's this week. The sand eel bite up along the south shore of Long Island has been phenomenal. They're catching a lot of stripers, uh, central south shore of Long Island, and they're all on sand eels. Let's hope some of those fish move down our way, and let's hope we get some sand eels in close as well. I fear that some of that beach replenishment work has had an impact on our sand eel population, but let's see. There's still plenty of time this fall to see if we can't get something. Talk to J.B. Casper doing our North Jersey report for the Fisherman Magazine this week. He seems to think some of those stripers from Long Island Sound have come down through Hellgate and along the East River. So if that's true, we should be able to get a nice straight shot along the beach sometime later on uh, in this month. Now we do have um, it's another brutal start to the week weather-wise and midweek uh, offshore winds and we're going to have those gusting northwest winds sometime on Thursday. Friday is expected to turn around the other way and blow east pretty tough. Now by Saturday and Sunday, <coughs> excuse me, it's going again, the offshore winds, west and northwest winds. Hopefully that will clean things up a little bit, perhaps push a little, uh, push some of those fish in a little bit tighter. But again, trolling has been the way to go. Uh, Zach Cupper, for example, Char uh, uh, Pete's son from over at Charlie's Bait and Tackle. He had a 50-inch, 45.8-pound striper aboard the 8-ball over the weekend on one of Joe Julian's Montauk Bunker Spoons. We had another good fish over the weekend as well down at Creekside Outfitters in Waretown. Christine here, she had a 45-pounder on the troll. So again, best bet for monster bass going up in Monmouth County, sometime, someplace around the Shrewsbury Rocks, down inside the line, all the way to LBI. And again, find the structure, looking for some of that structure, but those bass seem to be following along that, that inside the, the line, inside the three mile line highway once again this year. Do find out about some stripers coming down, like I said, in the lower Hudson River as well, and that bodes well for the folks on the rare. About time to get in on that run and gun bite, uh, chasing fish as they're chasing some of those peanut bunker and different baits along the Raritan Bay. You just have to find those weather windows, which have been very tough to find as of late, of course, with which is probably one of the worst starts of, of, the, of the fall, weather-wise, that we've had in some time. So just keep your fingers crossed. Now, if we get out into South Jersey, uh, most of the best action uh, seems to be in the back bay. As a matter of fact, checking in with Apsecan Bay uh, Sportsman Center over the weekend, Tom Mossman, he hit a solid 35-pounder in the back, trolling or, or drifting live eels. So yeah, while Ocean and Monmouth County seem to see the best action right now on the front side for stripers, Atlantic, Cape May County, it seems to be the best action with, is with those stripers in the back bay. So if something prompts them to head out the inlets, maybe you'll get some of those, uh, we'll call them residents, out along the front. Um, but again, in the back down there in Atlantic and Cape May County, eels, live spot. You might also want to try along the sedges and sod banks, throw some poppers, plugs, or maybe some plastics as well, particularly around that high water just as the water starts to go out. In Delaware, when boats can sail, it's all about tog and black sea bass. In fact, Steve Kibler here had an 8.8 pounder on the Katy did the other day, weighed that one in at Lewis Harbor Marina. Uh, many Jersey boats doing the same thing. Well, when the weather allows, getting out on those black sea bass and that one tog limit right now. 
Although I'm finding out some of the boats now, uh, some of the party boats as well, turning to jigging for stripers uh, in the northern part of the state, Ocean and Monmouth County, as those fish come in. Again, I mentioned Tog. We get a five fish limit next Friday. Not four, if you've watched last week's edition. I meant four more. We've got one Tog limit right now. We get four more next Friday. We'll go on to five. So uh, Tog season officially starts here at the Jersey Shore um, next Friday, November 16th. You can get more on Tog gear and tactics in the November edition of the Fisherman Magazine. We're on newsstands right now. Look for the lovely picture of Michael Kim here with his personal best Tog. Uh, I say personal best to this point. Michael's putting in his time. I do expect we'll see plenty more big Tog in the month of November on the Fisherman Magazine's Dreamboat Leaderboard. Had a bunch of new entries just of late, and I expect that once we get that five fish bag limit back in New Jersey, we're gonna see a few more Jersey entries on the board as well. <coughs> Excuse me, possibly, possibly a few jumbo bluefish as well. I hear the, uh, the folks aboard the Miss Belmar Princess, for example, and some other boats, I guess heading out of Shark River and Manasquan, finding some big bluefish out there at the mud hole of late. So the, the key to this weekend, as with every other weekend thus, this far, this fall, Keep an eye on the weather yet again. And again, stiff offshore winds on Saturday and Sunday might make some good trolling conditions. You get in tight along the beach in lee of the wind, and hopefully some of those stripers show up uh, on the inside waters a little bit off the beach, especially for surf casters as well. I'm looking forward to casting at them as well. But uh, if you're on the troll, think bombers, the bomber CDs, Rapala X-Raps, and of course those spoons, which have really been getting it done, especially with the Bass of the Week, that 57-pounder that we talked about at the beginning here. So get out there, keep one eye on the screen, keep an eye on the bird play, be safe, catch them up. We'll see you again next week right here at thefisherman.com. These are called the banana heads. So they're heavier, so they actually sit perfectly in the water down.